Okay. All right. Sorry for all that. All right. So yeah, like uh, I know Resident Evil Village finally has you know been I don't know revealed. Well, I guess it was revealed before, but now it's like they gave a trailer out. I haven't really seen anything for it, for it. I mean, I I've seen pictures of it. You keep seeing that really uh, creepy yet you know uh, eerily hot chick, I guess that's smiling all the time. I seen a million pictures of her, and I I don't know anything about the game. I don't know what's about. I haven't paid attention. I've seen like people like, oh my god, you know. And there's like a million people posting. Look at this! I'm gonna react to the game, and I, I ironically that's what I'm doing right now. But like I guess I don't care about the views. I just kind of like, well, I'm gonna find out about this stuff anyways. I'm gonna play it right now. I was gonna do it right now. I was like, I might as well stream it. So uh, yes, but first I haven't I haven't seen any of the. Uh, the like the trailers and all or whatever the reveal was so i got a youtube fixed or like i got my youtube opened up right here so i guess we'll watch it right now and we will see i i, I guess i'll let me think about it should i do some pre i don't know reveal opinions Resident Evil 7 was pretty interesting it had some pretty cool it was a nice like you know refreshing things to the series it I, it's my biggest uh, thing about Resident Evil ever since four was the, or especially even a little bit before four. It was they kept really, really wanting to go. Uh, how should I say this? Really wanting to go into more paranormal Resident Evils, or it was less about you know down to earth virus stuff. And it was just more weird, kooky, you know, shit like that. Especially with all the different versions of Resident Evil four. If you happen to know anything about that, anyways, I don't need to go into all the details, but basically, like, it's been pissing me off. Even Resident Evil 4 is like whole like parasites taking people over and they're like, oh, you're stretching this a little bit. Wesker dodging bullets like a fucking Matrix agent was stretching. Like all this shit was stretching. And like I know they have to like reinvigorate this the series and they are making interesting games, but I'm just also liking it less and less to a degree. Seven was all right, though. It had some inter interesting aspects to it and, you know, reasonable aspects, I guess. But like this one, uh, I don't know. Like it looks I just from like the first trailer they showed, like, I don't know, a few months ago. Uh, I mean, I didn't really have my hopes up. It, I mean, like we've seen this happen before with Capcom and I wouldn't put it past them to do the same thing to where they did it with Resident Evil 4. They came up with something new and they're like, holy shit, you people like that? We're going to do it again. And they made Resident Evil 5 and we were all like, what the fuck is this shit? You know, like we were all. We were all like confused. Like, I mean, it was a little too actiony. Chris's arms were like five times the size and he was punching boulders. And then came Resident Evil 6, which I still haven't played to this day. So, but yeah, that was their failure. So that's why I'm afraid Capcom's going to do with this. They did pretty, they, they brought back Resident Evil with 7 and then now they're making 8, but they're going to go somehow too far again or they're going to go do some stupid shit and I'm just going to be like, ugh. So we'll see. All right. But let's go ahead and get to this. All right. Headphones are on. Let's see what we got. Yep, that's Resnil. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. Big Britney Bombash Brombashar. Brombacher, sorry. Oof, I put your turn up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay that you do not want to miss. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's do. Let me check over here real quick. Okay. Have that set up. Hey, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Did we now? Holy shit, Capcom's making this? Breeze, what's going on here? Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has oh. escaped that fool Heisenberg. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. No, Mother Miranda. 
Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. It's a little, it's like, old time stuff, like, guys, sorry, I keep having to, like, move these windows around and stuff. It's kind of annoying me, too. But... Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Blood and death. Got it. As opposed to every other Resident Evil, which is full of rainbows and sunshine. What the fuck are those? Are these like Skyrim zombies? And this is supposed to be set in modern times. Well, well, Ethan Winters. There you are. Ethan's back. <laughs> Ethan was the guy you play as in Resident Evil 7. Uh, the faceless guy, I guess. Who the fuck are you? Let's Let's see what you really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> Oh, Giddy. I'm sure he's totally not the next Jack of the game. That was amazing, but I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre order this thing? No, I'm not questioning that. Ugh, that first person is still kind of weird. Not like the actual first person itself, but this like kind of version of pers first person, the way he holds the gun and such. Like I guess I get it, but I'm just so used to like come to life them like aim holding the gun. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. Uh, they had to. From art design to technology, everything ties in great. And create some beautiful visuals. <laughs> now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for you. Oh no, pushing. How will you ever survive that? I have a gun or anything at that point, Ethan? Jesus. Ah, now, let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Little brother. Which little brother? Shifting gears a bit, we're finally going to show off some combat. Who's her brother? Was it what's his name from Seven? Fuck, what was that guy's name? Not Jack. Stupid it's son, not Jack. Just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. I didn't really guard that much in Resident Evil Seven. I probably should have. Each probably would have saved me has something. Their own distinct way of fighting, so you need to change up your strategy to defeat. Freaking giants! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he totally got hit there, and they totally edited that out. Wow, you missed. You Some missed. You three feet in front of you. Before. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you to create items such as first aid and ammo. There was crafting like that in the seven, wasn't there? There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. Okay. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This time he's known as the Duke. The You'll be Duke. going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. Oh, man. Oh, Capcom. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. How does he get out of there? 
I've got bigger titties than you do. Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. <laughs> there we know ceramic shatters like that when you hit it with the knife. Wait, do you hear that? I hear and we've water. We've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Mm. Of course, it shoot goes goats. Got it. That there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. Whoa. Oh, and Duh. Uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Sure, that's not gonna be annoying. One way to end the video. So it's like Resident Evil. Two? Yep, now I can watch it. Okay, so, uh, this must be like the multiplayer that I heard about. Was that Jack? Oh, so this is like, okay, this is everybody. One of the Ugh, ways that's we're weird. celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise, showcasing so many of the characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to Ooh, anyone who okay. purchases Resident Evil Village. So be sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest news. And Fucking Jack in a police station, that's freaking weird. Even more details. I don't know why they always have to point out World Premiere. Ubisoft, congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. We can't wait to get oh, our hands on our like my mouse is still there. For the Let occasion, we are bringing a celebration to our game, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Rolex collect some of the iconic of outfits and items from Sorry. the original. Let's have a look at some of these. Collect outfits. Oh, I'm sure that's not gonna get old. But in Jill's old school outfit, Jill's old school outfit was awesome. I'm sure not everybody's gonna wet themselves to play as Hunk. Was that Leon? Oh, another fucking film. Jesus, I haven't even seen the last CG film. I mean, these—they were kind of cute, but yeah, exactly. They're always fucking Leon dodging the shit out of every imaginable creature. I'm like, I—you I, can only do this so many times. Leon can only survive so many things before he's just John Wicking his way through fucking zombies, and it's just ugh. <sighs> I don't know. I, I I have my doubts about this game. I mean, it's gonna be pandered as you know being epic, probably, but it's just it's kind of, it's the same shit as seven. Same shit. You're in a place where you're out of your element, you know, instead of some backwater, you know, a what Louisiana kind of place or Alabama place, wherever the hell that was, you know, full of really awkward puzzles and then you know psychos who are always smiling and always just sinister following you it's they just traded the setting so now you're just in a castellian kind of thing with people who are in apparently modern day society but are also choosing to wear you know old ancient things uh ancient garb and stuff like that you know the, and the same shit. They're all going to be smiling and chasing you and creepy saying creepy fucked up things. I just want to cut your throat and drink your blood. And they're, and they're basically going to probably be like, you know, different versions of the Baker family from Seven. Just they're going to have their own fancy little powers. They're just going to chase you a lot. And they're going to be unkillable until a major boss fight. Blah, 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 blah. Random little enemies. Then between that, you know. 
Well, they'll probably tell you getting a headshot on this enemy is going to be key, but their enemies are going to be like, blah, 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 have fun shooting this, you know. I, don't, I mean, I, I'm not complaining a lot, but I'm just like, this. Yeah, this game looks like it's going to be the same shit, just nothing different. English display language, Japanese. Oh god, no, sorry. I was just kidding. Oh, I actually switched to Japanese. Subtitles, sure. Audio on point. Uh, we'll do headphones since I'm actually wearing headphones. Play in HDR mode. Sure. It has it so the square is barely visible. I'm gonna go off by off by OBS. Actually, that's not doing anything for me. I always gotta keep pushing this and then you actually have to scroll down, don't you? Share play data turned on. This is shared when the game saves. Whatever. Let's switch that camera because we know it's not going to be inverted right away, is it? Invert Y axis. Thank you. Camera wobble. Yeah, I guess that's all fine. Damage display. I'm just making sure everything else is fine. Fine. Yeah, that no, looks like it's all blah 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 blah. Iron Maiden, excellent. Escape the dungeon. Oh shit, or lack thereof. Sorry, it's actually a fascinating toilet. Oh, good. Yep, that's a scrap of paper. They push triangle. Oh, there it goes. The old scrap of paper buried in the wall. I think someone left a message. That's a lot of boobly, boobly, boobly. Who knows how to. What? Oh. It's just scribble, scrabble. To whoever, whomever is trying to escape this place, I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, and you'll have to trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of the cell. Wow. You need to get out of here. First things first, get out of here. <laughs> that's that's great. Uh, that's great advice. Sorry. Look around for the way to get on your hands and knees, or get on your hands and knees if you must. Then search for the thing you'll need to escape. It'll be hidden wherever the least suspect soaked in blood. Once you get out of the dungeon, you should find yourself in a room. I like it illogical. And before you escape the dungeon, be sure, be sure to inhale and then exhale to breathe. You need to do this to survive. Afterwards, blink. Because your eyes will become dry if you don't. I was just saying a bunch of obvious advice. Jeez. You might hit a dead end, but do not give up. There should be a way to proceed hidden somewhere once you find the ladder the only way is up but watch out don't let them see you i plan to make my escape tonight and pray that you to make it alive make it out alive what's on the back side of the paper oh hey man a lot of free rocks there those are weapons even those cans are weapons. You can use those, carve them into a shiv. You have a can knife. Oh, can knife. I never even thought about that. That moldy ass sandwich is a, can be a weapon too. You can just shove it down their throats and, you know, make them. You can crouch? Oh. I thought it was telling me to prompt that, like, in there, like, in the toilet. I was like, uh. I guess that was the secret to escaping is. you doing this is it no shackles kinky but not right now well that was obvious you that one's even worse wait are they cooking something there what the hell oh someone's making their freaking prison booze and let it sink for too long
Oh. Okay. I thought it was gonna be some kind of extravagant thing, like you craft a key out of something or you do some badass stuff. Nope. Just sneak it to the next cell over and luckily they didn't bother to lock that. Medicines for keeping livestock alive. I'm guessing I'm the livestock. So are these people vampires? Because they're... Uh, I mean, they're clearly not like whatever the Baker family in the last game was. You know, they're not possessed by some super possessor chick. I don't fully remember exactly what the main chick was exactly she was just an experiment by another company who could just control minds damn chains keeping me out of things god this must have taken them like years to fucking uh design okay hey guys he looks like he died pretty happy uh uh, is it more of that mold shit? Hey, 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 hey. You know what? Fine, you're not gonna talk to me. I don't wanna talk to you either. Help me, brother. Help, help me, brother. Is this a, like a torture chamber? Cause that looks like a, shit, what are those things called? Just those things that stretch you out. I forgot what they're called. She got drawn and quartered. Ooh, creepy. Those are some like gimp masks pretty much. Little pig mask. Uh, I guess like a helm, like just like a cylinder helmet. So you can't see shit, but you also can't go anywhere. Interesting. Okay, well, that's fine. Ooh, gosh. God, sit on one of those things. Was that me doing? Oh, that's me backing up against that. I wonder if I could screenshot that and put like the Bernie meme in there. Wait, let me see. Wait, let me get it a little bit right at the right angle and... Bernie Sanders beam, here I come. Ooh, that's kinky. Um, wow, okay. And more of this weird, super kinky shit. Jesus. I mean, they say it's torture, but I mean, depending on the person, it might not be fully torture. Hold up. Is it open? Hold on. Thank you. Alright. Where's the kiddo? Everyone else? Where's the bottle? Yep. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Antony's here. I'd push your button, Antony, but this isn't my Twitch setup, so like I don't have you know, the stuff ready. Well, I'm glad you're here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. This needs some kind of other item. Hey, bro, do you have the item I need? Bro, God, this guy just wants to hang around. Oh no, he ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Why? Maybe he sat in a chair too long. He just didn't like, God, dude, that's gotta suck. It kind of looks like it's designed to where. Wait. It, no. Because it's got that thing there, so your legs would clearly be resting on this piece. Unless that bends or something? I don't know. Uh, I guess. I, you know what I think it is? I think it's like a. Well, maybe it's a torture, but it's kind of like a. They'll put you in there. And you'll, you'll kind of get stabbed a little bit, but you won't be resting on there. It's kind of like you'll be able to like hold yourself up a little bit. But eventually, it's, it's kind of like a matter of you getting tired 
you know, you getting strained and like you, you know, losing it and, oh, you know, getting stabbed. I don't know. Whatever. That's, I mean, it's got to suck regardless. It's locked. Got it. I wouldn't have figured that out. Did that fall? Something fall? Who? Did Lieutenant Dan fall? No, he's fine. Well. Okay. Well, oh. Oh, old lady slumped down. <sighs> okay. I think I found the problem. You back scratch yourself with not a back scratcher. <laughs> Bolt cutters do not scratch your back very well, lady. All right, well, I guess that's, we're done here. Wait, was there a chain back here? Dude, what the fuck? You need to be careful here. Oh, this is Lieutenant Dan's legs? I think it is Lieutenant Dan's legs. Oh. No, wait. Have you heard the corn song, Dead Bodies Everywhere? Jesus. Was I in here already? I think I was already in here. Where is, yeah. Woo! Awesome. There's gotta be something mildly important in here. Like that! Bucket of blood. Ew. Bloody lockpick. I didn't think he was actually got a feel in there. And more kinky gimp masks. Yeah, these vampires are really not to get their free kind. It still bugs me whenever there's lore. Vampire lore of vampires. Like, having sex. I mean, maybe these people aren't actual vampires. I can't judge, but... Bugs me when people when, when there's lore where they're like, oh yeah, these are vampires. They're dead people, but their rest of their body still works. They can slap sex. What am I hearing? I don't even know what is what's going on. It's just something bum oh. Oh, it's bumping there. Okay. Let me just scooch this chair over a little more and you cannot. Okay. Well fun. Let me go check on this guy. Lieutenant Dan, uh Alright bro. Well that's not creepy, is it? Well, they did a number on you, didn't they? You don't look like you have a good side. Someone beat him with an ugly stick. Okay, well. Was there a point to this? Yeah, I can just, just flex on him. You know what's awesome? I got legs. Okay. Wait, does he actually put blood on the wall? Oh, no, he doesn't. So there's no point to this. There's this, this is just... Okay, well, whatever. Bye, Lieutenant Dan. You were... Uh, yes, lockpick, sure. Ooh, okay. See, I want a room like this, just completely extravagant with a story to tell about a big bloody battle. And it's not even like a, it's not even a room dedicated to that. It's actually like a toilet in the middle. You know, it's just a fancy bathroom. Uh, yeah, with shit like this, I guess they're going with vampire. <laughs> You're happy and you know what's time for food. Shit, <laughs> exactly. Someone give that guy a hand, because apparently he doesn't have any legs. Anything back here? Nope. Wait. That looks like something. Nope, that's just a brick.
It looks black. Just saying. Hey. Hey. You know, supposed to be creepy, but I don't know, man. I mean, I could go for a drink right now, so about anything. As long as there's alcohol in that, uh, we would actually think about it. Hi, Jessica. It is creepy. But it's like a weird kind of creepy. Uh-oh, somebody walked away. Oh, someone give this lady a hand. Wait, does she have any good loot? Nope, you can't search her? This game sucks, you can't do anything. Can't even like, I mean, I got bolt cutters, maybe I could steal her hand for something. Ooh, Dance Macabre. You can't play it? Oh, I guess you can't play it, okay. This stinks so bad. God, this is like Resident Evil 4, dude. I mean, it is his Resident Evil 4, basically, but... Like, food everywhere that just smells terrible, because evidently everybody in evil parts of the world likes to just cook food and then just leave it on a table to rot. Like, yeah, that's about a serious a lot of work, and I'm like, I don't do horror games because horror actually scares me. <laughs> See, that's why... You'd be a great streamer, Jessica. Like, people want to see people get freaked out by it. Ooh, an obvious way to go. But we're not going there yet. Hold on. Okay. Lame. All right, fine. We'll go. Nothing, nothing. God, there's nothing to collect, nothing to do. And a shit ton of booze that is just begging to be drunk. Especially if it's this ancient, that shit's probably like worth like just ridiculous, dude. Thousands amongst thousands. Why are these people like, you know, making a killing or making a killing? Ah, no pun intended. You know, sneaking, letting people come into their castle to drink their blood. You could just sell all this freaking wine. Probably back in the 1600s and shit. Wait, where am I supposed to go? In here? Oh, thank God. <sighs> All right. June 9th, 1958. Ooh, that's really... I think that's around the time when they started Res no, Umbrella. No, not in the 50s. I think they started in the 60s or 70s. Never mind. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. I guess it was the late 50s. I mean, women running a castle. <laughs> uh, the mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle and I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, ooh, I like that name, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. June 8th, July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were compl complimenting. I can't read for shit. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. You. See, you guys shouldn't have locked up your janitor. Your whole castle looks and smells like shit. Ladder. Uh, I guess that's all there is to do. I wonder if this demo has like its own version of creepy mannequins because I'm almost certain they're going to do some bullshit like that. What? 
This lady's got this nice badass room and a very obvious hole in the wall. These Castellians suck. I never liked those chairs. What is that, a wardrobe? What is a wardrobe? I could totally rock that dress, just saying. I'm gonna totally, I think I can do it, totally do that. Like if I ever got like enough like membership or followership or whatever you wanna call it, you know, on I guess Facebook now, I don't know. I would totally stream in a dress. Woo! Now what? Uh, just animal bones necklace, okay. Probably from like a possum or something. You used to ward away evil taken from me when I was thrown into that dungeon. So I got my necklace back. Whoopie doo of my creepy ass dead animal. Wait, can you still creep open doors? Does he go really slow? Nope. S slowly. Slow. Slow. I guess you, know, you they still kind of run wide open. Like in the first er, in the first game, in seven, you could uh when you like walk through the doors really slowly, you saw him put his hand on the door to open it and like he would, you know, if you push forward slowly, he would slowly open. that way you could see on the other side of the door if like an enemy was over there or not, so you knew if he should run in there or not. I don't know, maybe you can, it's just not a demo, I don't know. Ooh, that's a nice couch. This shit is fancy. Okay, I am not gonna lie. I kind of want columns like that on my door. That's awesome. The female body is awesome. Okay, well, nothing there. I mean, no, no door. Jesus, this whole place is fucking gilded. Damn random ass noises. Hey buddy, how's it going? Nice night, huh? <laughs> Sorry. That's a pretty nice architecture to be honest. I feel like that's going to be like a hub room that you're going to be running back and forth in and out of. Wait. Oh. Hey, buddy. I'm sure those night or those suits of armor will totally stay still the entire demo. See, I want a painting like that, that of myself. I want to get an oil painting of myself. Doing something completely stupid, just standing there in the dumbest outfit ever, or whatever. Huh. I want to bust on myself too. I want a mannequin of myself too. Does that one not have a head? No, it doesn't. They gave it boobs, but no hands or head. Okay. I'm sure that's not creepy as hell. Let me use my necklace on it. Nope. One eye is just an empty stock. Sock it. Stock it. I can't even read. Uh, before I go downstairs, let me check over here. That's a cool painting. Wow, that's a cool dress. Jeez. Why can't we dress like that anymore nowadays? I would, if I had that dress, I would go shopping at Walmart in that stuff, dude. That would be awesome. It's locked. Is this Resident Evil or Silent Hill? Fucking Silent Hill. 90% of all doors are just randomly locked. Alright, well this is a pointless path. Yeah, whoever made this place... 
sorry, that was my cell phone. Sorry, sorry. It's my aunt. Yeah, that's how I know it's her. Yeah, sorry. T or me. Ew. Ew. Ugh, and her lipstick all over it too. Ugh, she's wearing cheap lipstick. Okay, I would love a fireplace like that. I never cared much for like rooms like this. Uh, just, you know, where you sit down and talk to each other. And like, I don't know why, I just never cared for them. Like, I know everyone says, everybody, nobody in this generation talks to each other. Everybody's on their phones. I don't know, I just never, but like, honestly, I would love that. I wouldn't put a giant thing of flowers so I could actually see the people I'm talking to, but I would do that, especially in front of a fireplace. Uh, hell yeah, I would do that. Ooh. These are like the clothes I'm wearing. It looks like a... Oh, okay, no, it's like burlap. For a second, it looked like it was leather. Nope, of course, locked door. I mean, fuck me, right? Oh, okay. This is just an empty space for nothing. Damn rich people. Also empty space for nothing. Damn rich people. Candidates. Irina, Michaela, Michaela, Lois, Rejects, Dandora, Greta, Nadine, Camilla, Camilla. Bianca, Melina, Astrid, Lyud, Ludmilla. <coughs> I know this name. Lud, Ludmilla. I think it's just Ludmilla. I think the Y sound. I think. Uh, Rosalinda. I love that name, Ludmilla. Oh, I love that name. Lena. Rosalinda and Lena. Stefana, Gabriella. Where are the rejects? Do they not have the right blood? Are you chicks picky about blood types or something? Okay. That's weird to have a one single drawer that opens and then there's nothing in it. Okay, that's a nice dining room, I gotta admit. Oh, shut the bloody window, mate. It's fucking cold in here. If Mimi were here, she would have died from that. Just two seconds of that chill. Oh wait, I'm not opening it yet. Damn, rich people, they got plates and cups everywhere too. Uh, Maroon eye ring, cool. Oh, they're not burning clothes in this fireplace, I see. Oh, lock. Surprise. Use my necklace! No. I guess I gotta go unlock the stupid thing first. Oh, they dragged somebody here. Ooh. Oh, that's not creepy, is it? Should we go find her? No, I'm kidding. She apparently went in one of the random locked doors and probably locked it back up. Uh, maroon eye ring. You can't use this as is? Oh, do I have to? Uh... That's creepy. Am I spinning it? Am I doing anything to it? I can't tell. Am I spinning it? Is it like one of those... Is it like a Dragon Ball where it never... Like, it always looks the same to you no matter which angle you look at it? Is it the fucking ISO wrong? Okay, whatever. Uh, 
No, use it. Oh. Now use it. Hello? Any creepy vampires in here? Ooh. Gina? Oh, Regina Rosie. Just the wine tasting room? Like, you just come in here just for a good, quick sip. Okay, well, that's a lot of nothing. Okay. The wine making techniques of Castle Dimitrescu. Excuse me, Dimitrescu. I, I hope I'm saying it right. Dimitrescu can be traced as far back as 15th century, long before current occupants of the castle. Alcina, ooh, I like that name too. Dimitres, Dimitrescu uses this legendary Yepa Kilger technique to enrich the wine's flavor, intensity, and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sangui Verginis, I guess is how you pronounce it. Vergine, uh, whatever, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers I was like there's gotta be a point to this room because it's just full of crap that you can't do anything with thank god ooh, ooh. what's in here a gun nope skeleton oh skeleton drawings and I don't know poison So is, is this room just for, is this really like, is this like a, maybe a chill room? Like, oh, I need a drink, guys. You just go in here real quick, have a sip of wine, and you leave. Like, that's what the kitchen's for. Fucking rich people, man. I'm watching you. How are you now? Are you watching me now? What am I doing? Where is she? Where is she? Let's go find her. I'm calling her bullshit. You ain't watching nothing. Aha! I call it catch. Damn it. Nope. I'm guessing there is something to this demo too that like you're not gonna find on your first player playthrough, like Probably you go back somewhere, you do something special or something, something weird. And, uh, and it, yeah, like it's just like an extra little bit mini secret to it all. Or maybe there's even different ways to play the demo. Cause I remember that's how it was for, um, Resident Evil 7 demo. Can I leave? Whoa, hi now. Hi, lady. So, uh, fun fact, I don't like you. Oh, God. Oh, no touch. Oh, biter. How's it feel? Feels nice. Bye. <laughs> How'd she know I was into that? You gonna take forever? Yeah, thanks, necklace. Ward away evil. Fuck you, you didn't do anything for me then. Dick ass necklace. Oh, hi, lady. Oh, Jesus. Am I really short or are you really tall? We're both. Oh, shit. Well, I'm fucked. My mistake was not having an adamantium skull to survive that. Well,. Oh, okay, let's push a button. Yeah, cool. You guys deserve your efforts. I mean, I'd say they deserve recognition, but then the text got incredibly small. I'm like, I, if I couldn't read that if I tried. Okay, well, uh, I tried it, I guess. I don't know what else to say to that one. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was a demo.
Yeah, like it's it's exactly what I think it's going to be, though. I guess uh, it's it's like them saying uh, basically, well, we succeeded with seven, so we're going to do basically the same exact thing. You know, we're not going to change the formula. But then it looks like they're doing a lot of stuff like what they did with Resident Evil Four. And it almost feels very much like that vibe. Like so, they just basically got both their games and then just you know made them do fancy stuff until they produce a baby that is this game. So. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, it was interesting, and yeah, the creepy factor is still the same. Like I gotta admit, Seven had like a lot of creepy factors, just weird stuff like that. They did the same thing shit in here they did in that game of you seeing like the main enemies, but they're walking past you to a point where you can't reach them, and they act like they ignore you. I don't know, but I don't know. I don't know what to say. But it looks kind of like a. If I had to call it say anything, it looks like kind of like a an interesting generic horror game. It doesn't look like an interesting Resident Evil game. It just looks like an interesting generic horror game. You know, they just, I, that's the best I could put it. It's it's still weirding me out. Like I said, it worked for seven to have modern times, but you in some backwater, you know, uh, plantation, anything like that. This one is just, I, I, again, I'm not liking the concept as much of you, you know, modern times, yet you're in this old Castellian place with fucking vampire chicks and one, like, ten-foot-tall vampire chick who's got Freddy Krueger claws. Jesus Christ. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, who am I kidding? I'll probably still get the game whenever it does come out. I I mean, I don't, I don't know if I'll get it right away. I, whatever. we got a few months to think about it. And maybe I'll play it. I never really cared much for playing games, like, immediately when they came out, like, so I can, you know, stream it because there's a trillion other people who are going to be buying it so they can stream it as soon as they can and like whatever I'm, it's not an exposure thing i'm just like i i'll play it when i play it uh, i guess that's it i guess that's it for now there's nothing else to this uh, i don't know what else to say about this oh i don't think there's any reason to go through another playthrough if there is i'll just do it again on another stream but thanks for joining me everybody uh Antony and jessica thanks for coming by love you guys so much